My goal with this project was to hang Christmas tree ornaments outside on a tree using my drone. So step one is I uh, bent up some baling wire into a nice little frame. It's kind of tricky to position the thing where I can hang stuff, uh, see it in the camera, and yet uh, the, the props aren't going to hit the tree. <laughs> the props aren't going to hit the, uh, the Christmas tree ornament. So the, the ornament has a giant wire loop uh, attaching it. This is just to make my, my job easier. So vehicle dynamics are pretty good with just the just the loop and uh, hanging hanging ornament. Also, dynamics are great. So I think, yeah, okay, this uh, this you know UAV flies just about the, the way it did before, which is kind of surprising. Uh, so it's a this is a three pound uh, Phantom Three UAV. So it's not that much heavier. Now, the the uh, the hard part here is that. I've got maybe a six inch diameter wire loop and I've got a, I've got to match up all three axes. This is kind of like docking a spacecraft in Kerbal Space Program. It's a lot harder than it looks. So the, the, uh, the big problem here is that GPS, GPS is good to within a few feet, but I really need to be accurate within a few inches. So I don't know if you can see the, I, I've managed to previously kind of brush some snow off of those two, uh, those two little branches. So I'm, I'm hoping to hang my ornament on one of those branches. Now, like I say, this is a lot harder than it looks. Uh, my, I, my UAV has a top speed of 30 miles an hour or so, but this is, uh, this is a lot more precise than I'm used to flying. It's quite possible my flying skills uh, definitely just are, are the, uh, the, the big problem here. Uh, it, it certainly helped to set up a situation where I could see the onboard camera from a front view, and then the side view is here. Here I am standing off to the side. Is the pilot able to get a look at, at what's happening? So I could kind of switch between onboard video, and I got really close. So he, here I'm actually going to go ahead and grab, uh, uh, actually grab onto the branch, hang hang the ornament, and life go, life is good. And I think, all right, this is this is cool. This is going to work. And oh, yeah, okay. Here's the onboard video of that same that same setup. So all that happens here is I, I go forward, I, I get it hooked. Life is great. And now, unfortunately, the hook hangs up on the branch on the way out. Have, having a hook that uh, that is not a not a complete loop would probably be a much better idea. L luckily, uh, uh, didn't even break any props because there's a foot of snow on the ground. So he, here we're uh, so I was able to just dust dust the UAV off, uh, uh, change the battery, and uh, we're. Uh, we're, we're good to fly again. So here, here we're just lining up. Same, same deal. I, I actually probably should have rebent the hook, but I didn't bother. So here we're uh, we're just trying uh, trying another another go around. And I, uh, it's it's amazingly hard to hold station on this thing. I can bounce back and forth by a foot or two, real easy. But uh, going back and forth by an inch or two is real hard. So I just had to line everything up and uh, and, and drop her in, and uh, again this this makes it look like I'm an awful pilot, which is probably true. But uh, go ahead and, and if if you try this, uh, be sure you've got a, a safe place for the UAV to land. Okay, and hooked it on there. Get the heck away from the tree so I don't crash. And uh, hallelujah, we got it. So this uh, so, so <laughs> successfully managed to hang it on there. It only took about uh, 15 minutes of flying and one sort of complete failure where the UAV ended up on the ground. But uh, success in the end. So have a Merry Christmas, and uh, this thing is uh, still hanging up there. <laughs>